previously on the Youth Edition. And there is the whistle, so three points on the road for Oldham Athletic. Red Hot form continues. Well, there is the whistle, defeated by Liverpool on our home deck. And uh, back to square one, we knew it would be a tough game. Well, there is the whistle, it's a 2 0 victory for Oldham Athletic here against Crystal Palace. Saga! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Edition. It's Oldham Athletic, it's Dylan Allen on a quest for Champions League glory. It's time to sit back, relax and get in that comfy chair, put it on the big screen TV, crack your favourite beverage, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode. FIFA 19 here with Oldham Athletic and after 10 games we sit in 5th position. Now I did see some interesting stats there in the comments section that said our 5 wins have all come away from home. Uh, the draws and losses all have been at home. Uh, so that is something different. It's probably what's plagued us this entire career mode. We're winning a lot on the road but our boundary park just has not been good to us. A lot of rain and uh, well we're going to have to turn that around if we want to be a serious contender here for some Champions League football. But not a bad start to the season here. Uh, uh, sitting in fifth position, you know, knocking on the door. We have beaten Manchester City this season, so, uh, you know, a good sign of things to come. Now, I did see some comments to ask, you know, what kind of teams are being put out. I don't actually have a second controller. Uh, they have been smashed uh, and I haven't gone and, you know, bought another one because no one really comes around here to play, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so in regards to activating a second controller so you can see the team, I don't think we really have that opportunity. Uh, and as for showing them at the start of a game, well, the, the Premier League graphics Graphics tend to get flagged uh, sometimes for uh, copyright strikes and stuff, and then you've got to bring the whole video down. So I don't want to play with any of that. But what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to jump into the team sheets, and uh, we'll have a look at some of the players that you know these teams do have at this stage of the career mode. Uh, it may not be the full team that they put out on the park all the time, uh, but generally their first 11 is, is pretty close. So let's jump across and have a look at how some of these Premier League teams are looking at five seasons into the career mode. So if you haven't seen the way we do this before, you come across here to import team sheet and then that allows you to have a look at all the other teams that are going in whatever league you want to have a look at. So uh, we'll have a quick look here through the Premier League. Arsenal four and a half stars. Uh, Leno's still there at an 87. It's probably their best player. <laughs> Chambers is the captain. Uh, Mickey's still floating around. Maitland-Niles, El Nenny and they've picked up a few other lads around the place. Um, you'd feel that there's probably a couple of high-ranked players on the bench, possibly. Uh, but at this stage, that's how uh, Arsenal look to be lining up. Bournemouth don't look too shabby as well. Still got Begovic in there. Uh, Wilson there at a 79, uh, but a 66 right back. Uh, Brighton, uh, an 81, 80, you know, pretty decent midfield. Duncan Duffy there at centre-back. Uh, Bristol City, who came up with us, uh, are definitely only a three-and-a-half star team, but uh, we've played them, beaten them. Chelsea, all right, Hazard there out on the left at 89. Rated Kante in the midfield there at a 90. Sula Kepper is in there. David Luiz still the centre-back. He's dropped to a 75, so he must be just about done. Kadira is the captain at 76. Crystal Palace, um, not too shabby, a 64 winger there. You'd assume that maybe a better player is coming off the bench. Everton look okay with Davies there. Uh, Pickford the keeper, we had a bit of trouble there with Everton. Zuma, um, not a bad team at all. Huddersfield, um, yeah, a little bit up and down. That's probably why they're closer to the bottom of the table. Leicester City, uh, you know, their midfield was very strong. De Frye and Neto between the sticks. Uh, Liverpool, I mean, we played Liverpool. They beat us. Firmino was out there. Mane was out there. Fabinho was out there. Allison is the goalkeeper in 88. Alexander Arnold up to an 86 there at right back. Uh, Manchester City. Now, we played them. Suarez was up front. They did have De Bruyne. Edison was the keeper. I mean, there's a couple of little spots there that you feel it's really not Manchester City-esque, but um, who knows what they've got on the bench. Um, they may have made some transfers and the likes, but, uh, you know, Mares was out there when we were playing them, so most of that first 11. Uh, Manchester United looking very good with Koulibaly. De Gea at a 93. Uh, Tuvan there on the right-hand side at an 86. Pogba at a 90, so they should be coming along quite nicely. Newcastle United look okay. Oldham, what are we at? Four and a half stars. So, uh, you know, up there with the bread and butter. Uh, Southampton, yeah, about on the same pace as Aston Docker there at an 84. 
Spurs, a little bit thin here, Spurs, and they're kind of struggling. I mean, they've got Stones uh, and Ali and, and Alba there at centre-back. Lamello is still in there, but then, you know, you've got scattered 60s and, and a 73 keeper. That just doesn't feel right. Maybe they've got some other players. I'm not too sure. Stoke City look okay. Watford, Takure there at an 87. Uh, West Ham as well. Pretty standard, four and a half. So, I mean, it's a pretty even competition. A couple of big teams, but nothing really to write home about if these are the full teams that they are putting out. So, let's jump into this career mode today. We've got a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is for Kamara, which I'm pretty sure is the Cachelny regen. Uh, he is a French centre-back. This one comes from JB3 Sports Gaming, 28 thumbs up. Uh, a number three with a loose fit kit and long sleeves, black boxing tape on both hands, low socks, black boots. We want some Jomus. Um, I don't even know if any of the other players are wearing those. Maybe he's got uh, an exclusive sponsorship. Not too sure. We might see him in action um, maybe when the FA Cup starts up. There's not really a spot to bring him in just yet because Rishi would be the number three centre-back at the club at the moment. So, you know, we'll see him in the future. We'll let him grow and mature. And, you know, there's money to be made there if he does turn out to be a flop. So let's jump into this episode and get into some gameplay. Right, so the boys have been flying up and down form of late, but at home we really haven't been doing the job. We are at home today at Boundary Park. The rain is coming down once again, and well, Dylan Allen wants to get some minutes in here to the reserves team, so we will actually get to see Kamara in action. Navachio gets his debut here at left back, Minolti there at uh, right midfield, and Maldonado gets another chance here between the sticks, the big six foot five Mexican goalkeeper. Let's get into this game. Hottest field are sitting in the bottom three, so uh, you know we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, we can take some points at home. Let's do this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, match day 11. The rain coming down in Oldham once again. But we have got Huddersfield here today in some Premier League action. Now, uh, as I said, they are sitting inside the bottom three. They'll be looking to claw their way out. But Dylan Ollis decided to rest the first team, give them a break. They've put in some big shifts over the last few weeks and uh, let the reserves run out here and get some minutes in it to the legs. Maybe knock on the door. We currently sit in fifth position and uh, hopefully we can find some points here against Huddersfield. Let's go. Is it forward? Here's Ben Hammer. Quick touch on. Out wide. Tommy Martin pushes his way forward. He set something up here. He'll play it inside and looks for Ben Hammer. Oh, was he on side? But he's hit both side bars. Henriksen plays forward and unlucky not to score there. Gabrich swings one outside. McNulty will play forward. Here's Ian Boyce. Just hold up the play, then lays it through. Here is McNulty who pulls the trigger and it's a good save from Schofield. And the corner coming up here. We can see the replay of Ben Hammer's strike. And the goal decision was that there was no goal. Both side bars taken out, but uh, that's the second time this season we've had that happen. Henriksen. Ben Hammer, Henriksen. Ben Hammer lays off. There is Gambrich. Lap back off and Ben Hammer. Oh, it's a lovely finish from the big Austrian Hammer. Gets in his second goal of the season. And it's Oldham 1, Huddersfield fuck all after 18 minutes. We've been on the front foot. And you just need to feed this man a few balls. And he will try and put one in the back of the net. Gambridge with the assist. Binhammer just pulls the trigger. It's a lovely finish. And the young Austrian starting to really put a bit of pressure on here for some first team action. Beat Schofield with some absolute venom. And it's 1-0 to the Laddies. Well, here is Don Sun Han, freshly transferred to Huntersfield. The boys know what he's all about, and Tommy Martin just rips the ball off him. It was a big money transfer for Don Sun Han. He'll want to make an impact here for Huntersfield. Gabrich pushes through the middle. Here is Boyce, lays one out wide. McNulty has a bit of space. Cuts back inside, plays it inside. Oh, Binhammer! Well, oh, has he been called offside, or oh, I don't know, he's just missed. Quick free kick and Gabrich plays on. Kamara back off to Gabrich. Can't come through. Henriksen is there. Finds Gabrich. Slips one off. Finds Binhammer. Oh. Lays it out wide. McNulty makes the push. The flying Scotsman. Here we go. Works his way inside and cleared out over the back. Henriksen gets the touch. Tommy Martin tries to get a crack in. Cleared away by Billing. And at halftime, it's 1 0 to the Laddox. Don Sun Hand, good block from Navachio. There's a throw in. Don Sun Hand there, working with Navachio. Henriksen gets in, lays it forward. McNulty gets the hand and 
You might get a little bit of a break here, boys. Fires off. There is Gambridge. That's the layer back inside. No free kick from the referee. Donson hand feeds one through to Pritchard. Hendrickson pushing back. Here comes Huddersfield on the attack. Duani plays it inside. It's a poor, poor cross. All right, one change coming in. Gambridge checking out. And Henriquez, another Brazilian, checking into the midfield. Fires it out wide. McNulty back inside. Here is Ian Boyce. Works his way through. Didn't have it got in the way. McNulty will get a crack at the cherry here. Drives in. That one's probably a little bit deep here for Tommy Martin. Somehow he manages to keep it in. Crosses it back inside. Henriquez was there to pounce, but it's cleared away by Huddersfield. Don's on hand. He's found some space down the line. Slips past Navaccio. Richie comes back inside. Kamara there with the clearance. Huddersfield putting on some pressure. Don's on hand. Looking to make an impact. Henriksen gets the steal. Binhammer lays off. Here is McNulty. Oh, yes! Double side bar goes in. And McNulty, the flying Scotsman, finds his first career goal. It's 2-0 Oldham Athletic with the assist to the Austrian Ed Binhammer. They just lift him into the sky. He's not a very big lad. But uh, that is a lovely finish from the Scotsman. Binhammer could have taken it on. Seen McNulty there in the space. He's had a crack at the near post. And it's taken two hits to go in. This first goal for Oldham is a lovely little finish. That's 2-0 to the Laddox. Right, with that, we'll make two changes at 2-0 up. Martin checks out with Ian Boyce. Delphis goes up front. Binhammer sits in behind him in a centre forward. And it's uh, Lance Murphy coming in at left wing. Murphy is forward. It's Delphis who does get the touch and it's fresh legs. There is Delphis. And he sets something. Oh, no. Just decides to take it on himself. Henriquez trying to push his way through. Lays it off. And here is a strike. And a good save. And there is the whistle, a 2-0 victory, we get points at home. Well, 14 shots to one, and you can see why Huddersfield sit near the bottom of the table. The reserves have done a very good job here today, and McNulty gets himself a goal and a 9.4. Uh, let's have a look here. Binhammer a goal and an assist for a 9.2. A 6 for Lance Murphy. A 6-4 for Delphis. 8-1 there for Gabbridge with the other assist. 7-6 for Ian Boyce. He's just missing that little bit of impact that he did have last season in the championship. 8-1 there for Tommy Martin. 7-1 for Maldonado. Clean sheet and two saves. 7-6 for Carlson. Three defensive efforts. Kamara was good for an 8 with three defensive efforts. Rishi didn't have to do much for a 7. A 7-5 for Navachio on debut with four intercepts. 6-9 uh, for Henry. Rinkes and 8-2 for Magnus Hendrickson uh, with four defensive efforts and a key pass. Just does that job, doesn't he? Uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. All right, let's keep the training sessions going, trying to get these boys to 80 and uh, probably trying to push Jill to at least an 85. Right, our first scout report is back from Argentina. We've got Eligio Vera, 73 to 94. Looks like a left back at six foot three. And Osvaldo Correa, 63 to 87. Uh, looks like he could be a centre back at six foot two. We'll monitor those lads further. We are in Greece. We've got two lads to keep an eye on in Alexiu Lampros, 71 to 94, and Sander Sampras, 74 to 94. And we are here in the Ivory Coast with Innocent Debate, 65 to 91, and Siaka Diallo, 71 to 94. Taking a look at the current youth academy, Max Green, 84 to 90, Ethan Smith, 86 to 92, Eugenio Miranda, 84 to 90, Marcos Andrade, 83 to 89, and Arthur Guerin, uh, he's dropped off a little bit, but 70 to 90. Right, players leaving on international duty, it's Giron Jelly for Italy, and Binhammer's been called up for Austria. Well, Laura Bernard has won back-to-back -back Player of the Month award, so well done to you, Bernard. <laughs> He's just getting the job done, isn't he? On the shortlist was uh, Griffiths, Bernard Lukaku, and Loren from West Ham, so uh, he's got the job done. Fuck me, Bernard. You're not really uh, hitting the scoreboard, but must be getting those ratings. Right, time to move into the second game of the episode. We're going to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which doesn't actually exist in real life yet. Uh, well, it does, but the uh, game's never really been played there. But we get to play there today with Oldham Athletic. So uh, the first team will roll out. Let's hope that uh, we can get over Spurs. We had a quick look at their team. They still look like they had uh, Dally Alley and that floating around. So they should be competitive, but uh, they did look like there were a few holes there, uh, especially up front. And it's my, you know, they're about a mid table team at the moment. So let's get into this match and see if we can continue and get more fucking points here on the road. 
Well, here we are at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, it is no longer White Hart Lane because the big golden cock there is on the top of the stadium. But uh, yeah, a chance here to take on Tottenham. They don't look like they're travelling too well five uh, seasons into this career mode. Maybe they've uh, run out of... Oh, hang on, there's Harry Kane. Well, he wasn't on the fucking list that we were looking at. So I don't fucking know what happens with this game. Surely you'd have your best team in there. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the team lineups. We're the best defensive team. And uh, we'll just punch into this, and um, hopefully I can press pause quick enough. Oh, okay. All right, let's press pause. Right, so there we go. We can have a look at the player ratings at least. So they do have Harry Kane in there. Um, they've gone with Austin. David Alaba's playing centre-back here. Um, Dali Ali is on the pitch. Lucas there on the right. So, they, so, few, so that's what I'm saying. A few of those players weren't on that list, and we weren't sure what was on the bench. They've still got Harry Kane. So uh, let's get into this game and, and see if we can get a victory. All right, well, there's Harry Kane. I barely had a fucking word to get out. Uh, just sort of settling into the game. And fuck me, Harry Kane's put one in the back of the net. Throw in. Cootie gets the touch. Drops into, uh, not more sure who that was. Fuck me, Harry Kane. Absolute sniper. You're in jelly. Straight over his uh, right shoulder. It's blindsided Jill. He's definitely not seen that one early enough. And uh, we are 1-0 down to the Tottenham Hotspur. Flicks it on. Laura Bernard, two man of the month performances. Here he is crossing inside for Edwards. That's a save from Austin. Oh, there's Harry Kane. Great save from Jill. He saw that one. And that's a corner here for Tottenham. They're piping on the pressure here on their home deck. Lucas. There's Bernard with him. Decides to take him on. Cooney gets a piece of that. It'll be another corner. Relentless pressure here so far from Tottenham. Jill having to make saves here. Kane is getting a lot of looks. That's another corner. 17 minutes gone. Tottenham are on point. Deep into the box. Here is the header over the top from Alba. Barros, long ball forward. Looks for something from the main man. A false to Quirin! Oh, that is a brilliant finish! Oh, he's made the most of his opportunity there. It's 1 1. We equalise. Probably undeserving. The ball has just dropped there for the Camembert assassin and he wasn't going to take that opportunity lightly. Licks his lips and says thank you very much. Barros, the big ball over the top. The ball comes inside. Guerin just uses a little bit of pace and whips it off the goalkeeper. Just got past Alba, hits it on the volley. Keeper got a finger but it wasn't enough. It goes in the back of the net and it's 1-1 here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Gets in. Guerin with his sixth goal of the season. Laura Bernard plays one through. Here's Cole. Retreats off to Klein and then tries to play forward here for Edwards. Quick touch back. Cootie makes a run. Cameron Griffiths, is he onside? I think he might be. Cameron Griffiths. Oh, well, he's fucking blown his load on that one. A bit too much power, Cameron. We'll play one through. Asks a lot here of Guerin. He gets involved. Plays it back for Cole. Lays it off. Here is Elfie Lee. He set something up. Elfie Lee pulls the trigger. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Unlucky. Oh, there's a ball through. And there's a fucking goal. Well, three minutes of injury time. And it was just enough for them to make a break. A math just sprints past Barros. He's got some pace here, this lad. And finds Tottenham a goal on the cusp of half time. It was an absolute rocket. Jill had no chance on that one. And the Tottenham fans fucking happy. Oh, just gone to sleep a little bit there before the whistle. You can see Barros just dart away rather than running with his man. And, uh, that was enough of an opportunity here for the man to take a strike here. And Jill very late because that had a lot of fucking pace on it. It's 2-1. Hey! There's half time with a shirt front on Dali Alley from Elfie Lee. It's 2-1. Cameron Griffiths, oh, trying to get one through. Here is Elfie Lee. Takes the strike. It's a block from Pereo. And we're going to set piece here. Where is Kieran Jelly? He's deep at the moment. Let's see if we can get the ball through. Laura Bernard. Oh, he found Cl Sidebar again. Oh, my days. It's got a fucking magnet in it. Here's Cameron Griffiths. Waits the run. Edwards keeps going. Cuts back inside. Lays it off. Elfie Lee. Does well, plays this one inside. He's found Guerin. 
And Guerin sets something up here. Oh, it's a lovely turn and burn from Guerin! Oh, that is a brilliant finish! Oh, that is marvellous! This man has hit the Premier League with the ground running his seventh goal of the season and it's a fucking piece of brilliance from the Cabin Bear Assassin. Fucking get in! 2-2 here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What a touch of brilliance. It looked like Aaron Ramsey was in the crowd there. But uh, Guerra just took it on himself, turns, burns, and delivers off the arse cheek of the defender. That was enough to beat the keeper in Austin. Let's have a look here on this angle. Oh, maybe it didn't hit the keeper. I'm not too sure. But the sidebar gets involved again. And it's 2-2. Game on. Right, Tottenham check Lucas out and bring in Bay. Uh, Bailey, whatever. And uh, we're going to make two changes here as well. Gabrich in for Alfie Lee. Uh, Delph is checking in on the left-hand side for Joel Edwards. We've got a change still up our sleeve if needed. Harry Kane, big tackle from Cole. Plays it forward, here is Guerin. He'll lay it out wide, Laurent Bernard has some space. Still comes Laurent, Gazelle down the line. Cuts back inside, can he get a cross in? Cameron Griffiths can't get the touch. Oh, unlucky boys. Well, there is the whistle. It's a 2-2 draw. Guerin secures us a point on the road here against Tottenham. Well, 11 shots to 6. They hold possession, but Guerin kept us in the game. And he gets himself two goals and a 9.3. An 8.3 for Joel Edwards. An 8-1 for Elfie Lee with an assist. A 6-9 for Jill. Didn't have too much to do except concede a couple. 7-3 uh, for Barros for three intercepts. A 7 for Guerin Jelly. A 7-8 for Klein. Uh, and a 6-9 there for Cootie. 6-2 for Gabrich. 7-9 for Coe with five tackles and an intercept. A pretty good game for him. 7-7 seven, seven for Laurent Bernard. A 7 for Cameron Griffiths. Really didn't have a lot of impact going forward today, unfortunately. 5-6 for Delphi. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Right, so Giron Jelly has hit an 80, so let's swap him out. And let's bring Cootie into the frame and get these boys training. Right, with the international break, we get another chance at some training. And Jill now up to an 84. Time for match day 13, the third of the episode. Today we take on Bournemouth at Boundary Park. Now, Bournemouth are having a very good season. I think they sit in fourth position. So this could be quite a tough little encounter. Uh, but let's jump into it and see if we can get some more points here at home. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and a little bit of a, a daylight evening sort of uh, encounter here at Boundary Park. And for once, it's not fucking raining. It's very rare that it's not raining here at this ground. But... Uh, Hopefully the pitch is uh, running nice and quickly and hopefully Guerin can find some goals. The first team in action here against Bournemouth. And uh, looking at the league table, they're in fourth, we're in sixth. But uh, this is a big game. Let's get into it. Coat lays off. Alfie Lee. Oh. Guerin. Guerin. Oh, my days. Find an opening, boys. Oh, look who it is. It's fucking Kennedy. He better not have a day out here. Oh no, it's Kennedy, he's in the box and he's fucking missed. Here's Alfie Lee, fires one through. Got Cameron Griffiths, oh that is a cracking save from Begovic. On the goal from Edwards, Cameron Griffiths. Nice Guerin, he set something up here. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Guerin, oh and unlucky. Couldn't get a proper strike in that one Alfie Lee, it was just ahead of him. Cameron Griffiths plays through for Coe. Poor one. Bernard gets the touch. Alfie Lee finds Coe. Joel Edwards. Cameron Griffiths. Oh, great save from Begovic. And an opportunity here with a set piece. Kevin Jelly needs to get on the front stick here. Bernard will drive inside out the back door. Who's coming through? Barros. Captain set something up here. Oh, he's got a bit of an opening. Loves to pull the trigger, but not on that left. Yeah. And there is the whistle. So it's nil all at half time. Not a lot of fluent football in this one. Just cat and mouse stuff. Guerin with some vision. Seen Lauren Bernard out the corner of his eye. Gazelle cuts back inside. There is the cross. Look for Joel Edwards. Elfie Lee can't get through this defensive line. Bournemouth have set up a wall. Wait. Bernard back out for Guerin. Oh! What was that? Well, one change being made here. Delph is checking in for Edwards. Looks like we're trying to get a bit more attacking. Cody down the line. Delph is, makes the run. We'll cut back inside here. Oh, ref! Fucking call it, mate! 
Right, here is the change. Elfie Lee checking out. Gabrich checking in. 73 minutes gone. We've got a set piece. It will be Gabrich to deliver this one. Drives it high, drives it wide. Kieran Jelly was there. Guerin gets the touch. Lauren Bernard can't find the target. All right, here we go. Griffiths checking out, and Binhammer will check in. We need a goal here. Eight minutes to go. Here's a set piece. Gabrich, can he find something? Drives forward. Out the back door. This is Klein. We don't want him shooting. Oh, no, and he's given the ball away as well. Gabrich gets the touch, but there is the whistle. It's a nil-all draw against Burnmouth. Uh, Burnmouth? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, well. Mm, mm, things getting interesting. Well, 14 shots to four, but they didn't have one on target. They just were happy to control possession. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a finish. Uh, 7.5 there for Coe with two defensive efforts. A 6-6 for Laurent Bernard. A 6-1 for Binhammer. 6-5 for Delphis. 6-6 for Guerin. A uh, 7 for Joel Edwards. A 7-4 for Alfie Lee with four defensive efforts. 7-3 for Cameron Griffiths. 6-7 there for Jill. Just needed to make two parries. Uh, a 7 for Barros. A 7-5 for Guerin Jelly with three defensive efforts. 6-9 for Klein. And a 7-4 for Kuti. Not a lot of action in that one. Gavrich gets a 7. Uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Time for another training session. And that is where we finish today's episode. We don't have any players to currently upgrade. We currently sit in sixth position on 22 points. We've got Manchester United up next. So, uh, very interesting season unraveling here at the moment. Man City and Liverpool, Everton, Bournemouth, Manchester United are all, uh, you know, hitting it up and, and getting some decent points. But, um... Leicester, Newcastle, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal all around the midfield. And uh, it's Bristol Wolves and Huddersfield at the bottom of the table. So, uh, you know what? This season is progressing nicely. I think we've got one or two games left in November, and then we're already into December. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Smack the like button if you do. Leave me some love and comments down below, and we will see you in the next episode. I'm Spyro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product, I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you want to know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out, all the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.